Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Not a date or time specific reading whenever you come upon it. If it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. Um, but it is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, you'll leave the rest. Also, you can be here as a cross watcher for Capricorn. Welcome. Sometimes messages come through directly for you, so keep that in mind. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. Don't forget to like the reading, share if you feel called to do so. I am pulling from Work Your Light Oracle. We're going to get an anchor card. Capricorn, here it is. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. <laughs> kind of perfect if you're here is the Capricorn, uh, right? This is such a great message for our workhorse Capricornians in the house. Take a break. I love that for you. Get off the treadmill. Yes. Especially after, um, for those of you watching as I'm, you know, around the time I'm recording this, we just came through super powerful full moon in Taurus, total lunar eclipse. The energies will kind of play out over the next six months. Um, but it was, it just really packed a punch. It was really super powerful. So I kind of feel like if you're anything like I am, I'm a sister earth, earth sign. Yeah. Like just unplug, unplug for a day. Okay, here we go. I'll pull the cards. So your person showing up in the energy, the king of cups that came through in the morning musing and your energy here is the tower. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm saying this side of the spread is Capricornian energy, but it can be reversed for you. So don't let that stop you from identifying with one side or the other of the reading. I am doing a general reading, so it just kind of depends. Some people are here and they identify with the side I say is Capricorn and then they're like, but I'm not the Capricorn. It's okay. It's just the way I set my intentions so that I have a structure to follow. Um, let me go ahead and pull the cards and then I will walk you through it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, in the morning musing, and for those of you who are not aware of what that is, um, I do have a channel membership. If you go to my channel page and you know where the subscribe button is, there's a little button that says join and you can read about it there. Um, but every morning I get up, I do uh, little mini spreads. I call them a morning musing for the signs I'm going to read for later that day. And it just kind of, it's like a peek in the door. What's going on? What, what, what powerful energies want to show up in this very small reading? Um, and it never fails that that energy kind of gets expanded in the full spread. So King of Cups was there, um, although he was from under the deck. So um, here your person is showing up with some energy around emotion, uh, could be around emotional um, availability or vulnerability, maybe even lack thereof, we shall see. But their present experience of the connection right now is this page of wands, and in the past was the seven of swords. Now I'm just gonna let you know, these two cards, um, when they're so close together, usually aren't a great combo. Uh, it does talk a little, a little bit of player energy, um, but it's past and present. And then going forward, another page, page of pentacles. So even though we've got some page energy here, the person is showing up in the energy of the king of cups. Um, and the page of pentacles going forward feels like fresh start energy, maybe kind of going back to square one, um, you know, learning something new about themselves or about themselves in connection and yeah i'm gonna leave that there now you're showing up in the energy of the tower and your present experience of the connection is the three of cups um uh, i feel like you're after some form of reconciliation for something that went significantly off the rails in the past is temperance so lots of patience self-control and restraint on your end while this Seven of Swords was playing itself out. Now, Seven of Swords doesn't have to be duplicity, liar, cheater, stealer card is what most tower readers associate the Seven of Swords with. I always think it's avoidance. I always feel like the Seven of Swords is just trying to kind of 
you know, work a system, run some game, and then get the hell out. And it, it just feels very avoidant to me. And because the next two cards, a page of wands and then a page of pentacles, I'm, I'm seeing that this may be a new kind of relationship for this person. I feel you've been very patient here in the past. In the center, you know, which is your present experience of the connection is about a cause for celebration, maybe some kind of form of reconciliation um, in consideration of a tower moment. And then in the future is the Six of Swords, which is moving to calmer waters and getting some peace of mind. Hallelujah. Um, so we shall see. Let's clarify. King of Cups is where I'll start. Page of Wands again. King of Swords. Eight of Cups. I love that we have these two kings <clears throat> with the page of wands in the middle. I feel this is an, a person who tends to resort back to like um, a less evolved behavior in relationship. Page of wands can kind of be lighthearted. I say player, but not in a negative way, just somebody who's, you know, who's got game, who's out there, you know, flirting and ringing you up, you know, in the middle of the night and just kind of impulsive in the moment, you know, in it for the minute kind of energy. And what I love here, though, is that we've got two very powerful kings flanking uh, um you know this little page and it feels to me like there's something happening for this person that's calling on the highest and best versions of their emotional availability and their honor and integrity okay and eight of cups underneath in their unconscious awareness this person knows that something they've got to kind of leave something behind they cannot take this page of wands energy with them much longer that's why it moves to a page of pentacles page of pentacles is is learning something the page of pentacles has something to learn um always and so it feels good to me that on some level this person knows that there's some drama that's been kicked up that there's something that they can't bring on the rest of the journey with them and i think it's the page of wands i think it's that energy that behavior Okay, so let's look at the Seven of Swords. <laughs> okay. You wanted to flip. And it was the Three of Cups. So there it is. All right, so I'm feeling like I'm getting a little bit of a handle on some potential third-party energy. If you don't have third-party in your particular situation, I'm not telling you you do. But that's what's kind of coming through is this is somebody might have had someone on the side or an ex or um, the Queen of Wands might not even represent an actual person. Just what I was just talking about with that page of wands kind of light flirtatious and has its eye all over. And underneath is that strength card trying to overcome it, overcoming avoidance of an emotional relationship king of cups um overcoming the tendency to revert to old tricks um and to play the field that's what i've been trying to say all this time with this page of wands so to me the queen of wands can be a person if there is third party if not it's just sort of backing up what i'm saying is that this you know person has a tendency to kind of be with you you're here and their eye is over there at what's walking by does that make sense that's what's coming through so page of wands justice hermit yeah i kind of feel like this person is i feel like they're learning they're on this journey there's the hermit. And I kind of feel that that's partly your energy as the guide. Um, things have been out of balance. There's been a lack of fairness and harmony. And I feel like this person is starting to see 
and understand themselves. This is about introspection, personal growth, self-exploration, but it's also partly the guide. So it's almost as if you're holding up the mirror and what they see is something that isn't sustainable anymore, hence the tower. So it's got things out of balance. They probably definitely want to talk about it. I'm getting the impression that uh, you are not um, together in 3D at the moment. I'm feeling some separation here. So let's see the Page of Pentacles in the future. King of Cups again. Wow, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. Perfect, yes. End of a painful cycle of playing games, fooling around, not being honest, being avoidant, all that coming to an end learning how to be more emotionally available, um, learning how to come from their heart uh, with honor and integrity, king of swords. So I, I, I'm telling you, I'm seeing a shift from page energy and behavior into king energy and behavior and a willingness to let go of those patterns of, of the past. Uh, tower for you right now. I think your eyes have been opened. Um, this five of pentacles figured very prominently this morning. And here we have the tower and the fool with that five of pentacles. And it's, uh, you know, the tower can be awakening, like shock and awe. And then we have another awakening card where the fool says, you know, I don't have to stay in this energy. I'm worth more than that. Because in the morning musing, the five of uh, pentacles was clarified by the five of pentacles. And we are talking about some heavy duty energy around worth and value and feeling thrown away and cast out and devalued and forsaken and rejected and, and, and. And here, this tower, it's, I love this deck because you see that eye. And it's like, you're, you know, you know, like you know that you're worth more. So there's this energy of, of lightness of being and where is that coming from but your inner divine feminine yeah it's good from your unconditional love that starts with yourself always <laughs> i knew it was there um never fails i brush my hair before i hit play and it never fails and there's just like Okay, so let's look at temperance in the past. See, I feel like you're the guide. I feel like you're a lot more evolved. Because you've been on the journey longer, you're kind of guiding this person on their journey now. And that's why their growth is a little bit behind yours. It, it, that's hum that makes sense to me. That's part of these connections. So in the past, all this temperance and self-control and restraint and you know, trying to stay in the flow... Yeah, flying solo, nine of pentacles, taking care of you, um, chariot, ace of wands. Um, the chariot can be about fast forward movement, but it's also a card of victory. It's moving away from something sometimes, not just towards something. So kind of feel like it's moving away from the energy of feeling defeated and feeling rejected, that five of pentacles. Look at the ace of wands underneath. There's excitement building within. I'm okay, I'm gonna be fine, I'm on my own, but I, I'm still gonna come through this a winner, a, you know, victorious. Um, because you have your own independence and autonomy and your own integrity. Then we look at the three of cups. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So, wanting and fretting about this reconciliation could also be a little bit of third party for some of you. If that rang true for you, then there's more worry about the continuation of third party, but it's not the dominant energy. Um, right, looking worried, like, is this a relationship that could go the distance, Ten of Pentacles? It's about stability and abundance and about the future, um, life partnership even. And underneath this is Seven of Cups. So 
These two cards so close together, the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Cups, to me are always representational of a little bit of situational anxiety and depression. I mean, you know, nothing to worry about, but it feels like the worry kind of overtakes you at times and causes a lot of emotional ups and downs and highs and lows. And because you really do want to know if this is a connection that could go the distance, if there's a future here. You're not, what I like about this part of the reading for you though, is I don't think that you're gonna stay where you don't feel valued, really important. So I do feel this fool is kind of the lightness of being and that moment where you say, you know what, I deserve more, I deserve better. So I'm just gonna keep moving forward in my life. If something should change, I'm open to it. Um, let's see the Six of Swords if it brings you what it is you're after. Two of Swords, the world, there's your Page of Pentacles. Um, so very mirrored right now, but I'm feeling like you may have an important decision to make. Do you close out this cycle and keep going on your merry way? and leave all this in the rear view mirror? Or do you close out this cycle and begin a new cycle, like I said, fresh start energy with your person here? Mr. King of Cups, King of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like that's gonna be something for you to consider. You're probably already sensing that for yourself at this moment. Um, what I'm gonna do is tell you the astrology that showed up here, but also that there's a link in the extended uh, in the box below uh, to the extended, right there in the first sentence. And I'm just pushing these cards up and I'm continuing this reading. So now I'll pull the two of you together. I'll do a spread for the two of you connected to each other, not so separate. And we'll see what to focus on or what the opportunities are, or what the challenge or block is and what you can do about it or expect to come of it. And then I'll get a message from this person to you. What would they say if they were sitting right in front of you the energies they're picking up from you at 5D, um, that's always enlightening. A uh, message from Spirit of the Universe with some guidance and advice. Uh, hidden energies, what's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, but probably should. And then what you can expect to unfold going forward. That's, you know, the potential outcome. And I'll close with some oracles. So pretty comprehensive extended. The link to that is below. Here's what we have. King of Cups is out twice. Yes. I did see King of Cups twice, did I not? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, am I losing my mind? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strength card is Leo. Uh, Justice is Libra. The Hermit is Virgo. Tower is Aries, the Fool is Aquarius. Empress here is Taurus and Libra, that is a card of Venus. Temperance is Sagittarius, Nine of Pentacles happens to be Virgo energy. Chariot is Cancerian energy. And the world is um, Aquarius and Capricorn. It's one of your cards, it's uh, Saturn, right? The great teacher. So that's what I have for you. Like I said, the link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Otherwise, bye for now.